m365-dash.com release upgraded its dashboard version called m365-dash version 2.0. This one is supporting both Xiaomi M365 and M365 Pro electric scooters. Basically both options are identical talking about software, features and visual look, except there is small difference at installing hardware and installing process by itself. M365 Dash Kit consists of the dashboard, vinyl carbon sticker and power button extension. M365 Pro Dash Kit consists of the dashboard, vinyl carbon sticker, control board spacer and three bolts to secure provided spacer. Let's start with the M365 Dash Kit dedicated to a regular Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. To install it, first it is needed to remove both plastic covers. Originally they are glued with double-sided tape. Take your time and finally plastic covers will pop out. One plastic cover will be used again, so it is needed to glue on the provided carbon vinyl sticker to match the dashboard surface. Next it is needed to solder three wires regarding the provided template. Wires could be soldered in different sequence, but regarding the provided diagram. Dashboard body is designed to fit very firmly by pushing it on. However, some adhesive is recommended if you want to fix it permanently. Put in one dashboard edge in place and pressed on the opposite side. To ensure a good fixation, I pressed on on all four corners and around the entire perimeter of the dash. When pressing the dashboard, especially in the display area, try to apply pressure only at the most corner spot. Screen by itself is quite fragile and by pressing on it you could cause potential damage. Last step to install a dashboard cover. Before that power switch extension must be attached. Manage the wires to fit nice and tidy, push cover on, peel screen protecting film and that's it, M365 dash is installed. If you have a Xiaomi M365 Pro electric scooter or you are retrofitted Pro Dashboard to your regular M365 scooter, M365 Dash version 2.0 has a supported version 2, called M365 Dash Pro. Installation begins as mentioned before, by removing top covers. Next, unscrew three bolts holding Pro Dashboard. Sliding on provided spacer and secure it with the provided longer bolts. After that, solder three wires regarding the provided diagram. It is the same as a regular M365 scooter. Now the tricky part. It is needed to hide connecting wires on the M365 Pro dashboard. Take your time and manage all wires to fit nicely along the edge and hide them under the control board. Set a dashboard in place and press on all four corners and around the entire perimeter of the dash. Be sure you do not pinch any wire. Once again, in the upper part try to press in corners only to avoid damaging the screen. Last but not least, sticker for top cover. It's up to you, glue it or not. The sticker is just for the aesthetic look and it does not perform any other function. Let's take a look at the controls and features. To navigate inside the dash, use brake and throttle. In the main screen, by pressing throttle, you could change the view between different range measurements. Total, Trip A signs switching on, Trip B signs the last charge, Trip C, you can reset it up anytime you want and the remaining distance. To reset Trip C distance, press and hold the throttle for 5 seconds. Also, the main screen shows the main information about battery state, front and rear light indicators, and economizer which shows the riding modes and used power, and at the bottom, scooter on time and battery temperature. To enter in the menu, press brake and throttle at the same time. To choose a specific menu item, press throttle. To exit, press brake and throttle at the same time. To navigate inside the menu, press brake. 
To switch the next screen, press throttle. By pressing throttle you could change value of the specific item. Turn on and off rear lights, cruise control, choose one of the regenerations mode, choose metric or imperial measurements for kilometers per hour or miles per hour, change wheel size if you upgrade it to 10 inch tire, set custom range from 5 to 50 kilometers. By adjusting this value to your real range covered with one charge, you should get quite accurate remaining distance calculation. Custom battery capacity. This value could be changed up to 20,000 mAh. It is handy when you have added an external battery or modded your internal one. While riding, you could choose what to see on the dashboard screen by choosing here from speed, range or power in watts. By choosing range, basically you will stay in the same main display view where you were before starting riding. Range and power options are a great addition for M365 Pro scooters owners because they already have displayed speed. Update must be chosen if you want to connect the scooter with third-party applications like DownG and Flash custom firmwares or something else. This item is also intended if M365-.com released a new firmware and you want to install it. Update instructions will be provided with the order confirmation letter. Here is shown change battery capacity value. Here we set total trip distance 50 km with one charge. With the current battery state, I should make about 40 km what is quite accurate regarding my weight and riding style. The battery indicator starts loading up in green tabs when the battery is charging. Over 2 km per hour screen starts showing speed or other drive screen values set on settings. Xiaomi scooter has a feature to lock the scooter by pressing and holding brake and throttle for 5 seconds. Any controls are operating. The scooter is beeping and blocking motor if you will try to push it. When you are doing this, be sure that you have your smartphone with yourself, because to unlock the scooter, you have to use Mi Home or Xiaomi Home app. M365 version 2 is a great addition to regular M365 or M365 Pro scooter. If you want one, check information in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a nice ride!